Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial, and today we're gonna be showing y'all how to make what shit on the screen. And this video is a collaboration with my boy Extinct. So if you want to learn how to make the 3D text you see right here, go check the video in the description. He will show you in depth uh, tutorial on how to make that text. But with all that being said, well, not 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 even that. Before I get started on this, I want to say make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of the video. I don't even care if you skip to the end of the video. I'm gonna have a ten dollar gift card for y'all at the end, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Whoever get that, let me know in the comment section. But without it being said, let's get straight into the tutorial. And I know I said that I'm gonna have more uh, thumbnail tutorials, but this was a collab. I had to get this out for my boy. But I'm telling y'all, after this, number thumbnails and banners, we ain't gonna have too many overlays. So let's get it. So the first thing I wanna do with making this is going to Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have this, let me know in the comment section. I'm tired of seeing people use Photopea when well, you can get this right here. But if your Photoshop, maybe, you just don't want to risk it, you feel me? You don't have to get it. But if you have photo peel, you need Photoshop. Let me know. I'm going to get you right for real. But the first thing you want to do is come in here, go to File, New, and pick 1280 by 720. And next thing you want to do is go to File, Open. And what I'm about to get is going to be the shape. I don't think I ever made a tutorial using this shape. So this is going to be the first time I make a tutorial actually using it. It's going to be like this um, trapezoid shape. Trapezoid, how you said it, you feel me? Get this. You hit control C on it, you bring it over here, and then you hit control uh, V. If I'm talking too fast, slow the video down. But once you bring this in, you just click this right here and you just make it smaller. It's like so. Uh, yeah. So I'll make it about right there. Now, I know some people have issues like this right here, don't be showing up. You can just hit control H to bring it back on. You see how I hit control H to make it disappear. Just hit control H to bring it back on. And I also like to have my show transfer, uh, transform controls on while making these overlays. So yeah, make sure you add it on also. Next thing I'm gonna do is bring in this uh, 3D text right here. So I'm gonna just bring in this purple one. Hit control C on it when I bring it in. Hit control V. And shout out to my boy Instinct. His channel is gonna be below. He got like a lot of Cinema 4D tutorials. I don't really know how to use Cinema 4D, but he got a lot of tutorials showing how to use it. So y'all can make y'all overlays better. But just resize this. I made it a little smaller, you feel me? And, um, I'm probably do this size right here. And I don't know, bro. I feel so energetic. I don't know why I'm talking so much. But after you do this, you want to bring in your socials. Um, You see how I'm opening up this recycle pack also. This is what all my stuff in. I do have this pack on my YouTube channel. I'm going to leave that in the description. You can find all this stuff in there. Just like I got it in my computer. And if you all don't know how to do it, let me know if y'all need a tutorial on how to uh, use it on your computer. You feel me? But yeah, you just bring this in. Hold control. Get both of them. And make them smaller. And just do just like this. This tutorial right here shouldn't take that long though because this overlay is not hard to make. And I just grabbed the hell shift and brought it over and so it was evened up. I hold shift while I bring it over so it'll tell me like the distance between and I know when it's even. So after that, we're going to go to the horizontal type tool. I just went over there and clicked it or you can hit T on your keyboard to go to it. It's up to you. But after you get it, just click on the screen with it and with it and, and type in uh, your social. Yeah, type in your social. My social end up dragging. I type that in. Just drag this over like so. I probably made mine a little smaller, like this size right there. And you just want to line it up with the uh, social right here. So now that you got it lined up, y'all probably wondering what this font is. I'm going to leave it in the description below. It'll say font, and then it'll have the download link beside it. So if you don't know the font, just go down there and get it. Hit Control J on it, and then drag it over by holding Shift. It'll tell you when it's even. And I'm going to put 52 on this, because this is my social. I end up dragging 52 on Twitter. And... After that, you just want to put the text above so we can do the hue and saturation because we left it down there. When we do hue and saturation and colorize, everything's going to change colors and we do not want that. So what we do, just bring that below the text and I'm going to change the color to purple because that's really what's going on. We got like a purple color going on up in there. So let's try to make this color match. But sometimes I actually don't make the color match. So yeah, I'm going to do it on this one. So I'm just making match like that. You know that color ain't no deep purple, but it's gonna show a light then we add a saber. So now that you got that, just hold shift. Make sure you on your uh your colorized layer right here. So hold shift. Go all the way down to this bottom layer while still holding shift. And then you want to hit control and E on your keyboard, and that's gonna merge 
the layer and make the color change and all that good stuff so now that we got that just going to delete this layer down here so when we open up uh, the psd in adobe after effects it's the only thing you're going to see you don't want no extra layers because it's just going to make it harder on you so now you just want to hit control s to say your work and i'm going to just name this uh dragon in x hit okay now you want to open up adobe after effects if you need this also hit me in the comment section i'm gonna get you right like i said and make sure y'all join my discord server you got a lot of designers in there if you want to talk to me i'll also be in there too so when you get in here just go to new composition that's the first thing you should see when you open it up with make sure it's 1280 height make sure it's 720 uh frame rate i do 30 so my uh my file size can be smaller and you can do 60 if you're using it for personal use but i only use 30 because i'm sending it to clients when i get done with it but duration have it on 15 seconds and then after that you can hit okay now some people be asking me how to get my little transparency grid all you have to do is just click this right here and you can toggle um from transparent and then toggle from not transparent so yeah but after that just go to file import and then file again and you want to go find the psd and i'm gonna just uh go get it real quick i just click import bring it in make sure you selected the edible uh, layer styles you don't want to merge them together and now that you got this you want to make sure your socials at the top my social at the top make sure your text is always in the middle that's what i do when i do this and now i'm holding control to get both of these layers to control d and then you want to get the ones at the bottom then you want to go to layer auto trace and then hit ok you don't have to mess with auto trace centers so after go to effects and presets and then you want to type in saber and you will need the saber link that will be in the description if i forget hit me in the comments says you already know the deal so just drag this over bring the settings transparent customized core layer mask preset we're gonna go to patronus gotta find it real quick they're right there so i don't know if i said that wrong either but you feel me after this go to the color picker and just pick a color off of this right click copy they come down here uh fix saber right click paste so what i do is just copy and paste it now if you want your overlay like this like if you're a beginner something simple you can keep it like this but i'm gonna do a little bit more to it real quick so what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna do the end offset on this one and the end offset and start offset they come in from different directions so that's why i'm doing end on one and start on the other so I'm going to do end offset. We're going to set this to zero. Make sure you have your clock selected. And we're going to go all the way to 10 seconds. Now, now matter of fact, you got to hit U right here first. So your keyframe can save. Then you want to go to 10 seconds. And then you want to set it to 100. So it should fade in. And you can start it. And see it come in like this right here. And it's going to look better when we do the other ones. So now we'll just start with the other one. Do the same thing. We'll go over to start offset. Um set it to 100 and you'll see what i mean they're gonna come in from different directions make sure you hit you go all the way to 10 seconds and just then set it to uh zero and you'll see they're gonna come in from different directions so you see one coming in from down there and then like they go out all the way around basically so yeah so now we got that we're gonna go back to the first one we edited and with this we're gonna go to 15 seconds now and we're just gonna set this to uh zero and you really can let it go all the way to 12 seconds i think that's what i'm gonna do so what i'm actually gonna do is just select this keyframe i don't know if they're gonna let me do that though they really might not let me do that for real so i might just have to go all the way over and then put on 100 at 12 and then do like this so it's gonna work like that either way and then just gonna go out so i'm gonna do the same thing with the other one i'm gonna go down here uh 12 i'm gonna set it to uh yeah so keep it like that and then just go to 15. oh yeah and just make sure you do it with both of them and then we'll get down and should fade in like this And it's gonna loop when you play it and i'm gonna leave this project file in the uh, description I'm, I'm gonna leave y'all with the project file but i'm gonna show y'all how to render it first before i save it 
So to render, you got two ways. You can export in a, a render queue or Adobe Media Encoder queue. So for render queue, I'm gonna show you real quick. I got my render settings at best settings, quality at best, resolution at full, uh, output module format. You want to do QuickTime so it can work in OBS and Screenlabs. And I think QuickTime is also the smallest file on here. Channels, you want to do RGB plus alpha. This is so you can have it as PNG. And your diff should be set at millions of colors plus. I know some people have problems with the format options. This right here should be at animation video codec keep that in animation then hit okay then you want to go to output to and my files automatically output to to a certain direction but this is your first time you will have to go in here type in the name for the file hit save then you want to click render and that's what the file is going to output to now i'm going to show you how to render it in adobe media and code queue if you need this hit me in the comment section you already know drill all right so once you get done with that step you just want to go in here click on the little drop arrow select quick time Go in here, uh, click on the drop arrow, arrow, select GoPro, send form. And if you want to know how to make your file size small, I do have a video on that. If I remember, I will leave it in the description. But I'm going to just let you know. This file right here going to come out about, I say, 170 megabytes. If you want that to be a, like um, 5, you can go look at that video and select WebM. But I ain't going to get into all that. But if you do want your file to be smaller, just go watch that video in the description. So now you want to select output file and you just go i'm gonna do what i told y'all i'm gonna do but just put no cc another thing before i do render if you want this to be mp4 format because you like on windows just like me um you can do h264 only thing about it won't be png so i'm gonna let this run by clicking that uh enter button right there and i'm gonna get back with y'all when it's done render all right so now it's done rendering we're just gonna go in here and on um, close project obviously i gotta say the project file so let me say that real quick but just go to new composition follow all the same steps and this time we just gonna import the thing we just made so go to where your file is i think i named it dragon uh all right so once you got in here first thing you want to do is go to cc light suite drag this over then just bring it over there. Go to the little clock here. You on your keyboard. Then you want to head to five seconds. I went to six. Let me go to five. Drag this over once again. Hit you on your keyboard. Then go to 10 seconds. Drag this to the left. Then hit you on your keyboard. Then go to 15 seconds. And you can just finish it off like that. Hit you on your keyboard. And after you can go to uh, file export. I'm gonna do Adobe Media Encoder Q, but you can render it whichever way you want because I show how to do it in both ways. But basically, now you just want to render it. All right, so once you get in here, just follow the same step. My name is the same thing, but this time I'm going to just add CC on it so I know that I added CC light to the uh, overlay. All right, so once it's done rendering, I'm going to just um, come in here and show you how to file. You just add it, go to media source. And if you plan on adding this to your screen, this would not be a step I want to skip because I have a lot of people asking me, how do I add this overlay? So just come in here, open it, make sure you add it as a media source. And if you did everything right, it should open just up and your overlay should look something similar to this. I already know y'all overlay gonna be looking better than this. So I ain't got trip on that. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure y'all like and subscribe and enjoy this $10 gift card that's about to show up. Let's get it. Hey man, I already know you skipped to the end of this video so you can get this card. But um don't be too greedy because I wanna leave another card for somebody else. So when you see this gift card, I only get one. Do not get both of them cards, man. I see you putting in the code right now. Only get one of them cards. Let somebody else get the other one. Cause you ain't even watch the video. I know you skipped to the end. But look though, since you getting the code anyway, go down in the comment section and let them boys know that. I did a giveaway for real. They know I ain't not his, um, making no fake giveaways. So, yeah. And drop a like on that video since you coming back here to get the card, man. Yeah. Real talk. Let's get it.